Hey, seventh graders, happy STEAM Wednesday. So you guys have a pretty easy little research assignment today where you will be researching a genetic disorder. So basically a genetic disorder is anything that we see a mutated gene that's passed down from parent to offspring and it causes some complications with the offspring. So your learning target for today is I can research different diseases or disorders caused by mutations passed down in our genes. Obviously you've noticed the video on the right and today's assignment is of course STEAM Wednesday. Okay, so your directions today are to choose a disorder or a disease that is inherited from mutated genes passed on from the parents. You may choose from the list on the next slide or you can research one of your own. So here's the thing is, obviously the ones that are on the next slide are good to go. You guys could choose any of those. But if there's one other one that you guys maybe know about that interests you, let me know what it is, okay? Um, the reason I wanna know and approve it is because it could be something that's really complicated and it's gonna be difficult for you guys to get the answers or it could be something that we really just don't know a lot about and that would also make it difficult to get answers um, for the few questions I'm gonna ask you. Okay, so let me know if you have something in mind other than what's on the list and I can kind of do a little research to make sure you guys will be able to do research easily as well. Okay, so research your disease using only .org website. So Wikipedia is not a .org, okay? Um, yes, Wikipedia is all right, but for the most part, .orgs are gonna be the place to go. Those are the place where you guys see uh, different companies coming together that do a lot of research in these. So they're really truly, especially for genetic disorders, the best place that you guys could go for information. So make sure you're only using .org websites, like for instance, the Mayo Clinic is a really good website to use. Um, finally, do not copy and paste. I'm adding that on here right now. Do not copy and paste your answers. Okay, that is plagiarism, and I will not give you credit if even one of these is copied and pasted. Believe me, I can tell the difference between what a seventh grader writes and what a medical professional writes. So make sure you guys are using your own words. Okay, all right, so moving on, here is a list of your genetic disorders. Uh, color blindness, uh, you guys generally see this in boys, but it's... Um, seen in girls occasionally. Reason being is it is um, linked to an X chromosome. So we all know dad passes down a Y chromosome to boys. So that means that if you are a boy, you only need one copy of the gene to get it. Whether it's your female, since it's on the X chromosome and it's recessive, you guys need two copies to get it. Cystic fibrosis, some of you guys learned about that. I think Green Group learned a little bit about cystic fibrosis. Um, it's a, a trait, or excuse me, a disorder that affects the lungs. Basically, you guys get a lot of fluid buildup in your lungs if you have cystic fibrosis because one of the proteins that gets fluid out of your lungs is made wrong. Angelman syndrome, sickle cell anemia. So normally your blood cells kind of look like a little concave, round, donut-looking thing. Um, but with sickle cell anemia, you have a mutation that causes your blood to kind of be shaped in the shape of a sickle, which kind of looks like a, a crescent moon. Situs inversus, Down syndrome, which is also called trisomy 21, Werner syndrome, hemophilia, which you guys have learned a little bit about how people are unable to clot their blood if they have hemophilia. Tay-Sachs is a pretty rare but very fatal disorder where both parents have to pass on the recessive trait. And because individuals don't generally live past two or three years old, um, it's really rare to see Tay-Sachs, but it does happen. It's a really bad role of the genetic dice to pass down Tay-Sachs. Um, Usher syndrome, uh, Charcot Mar uh, Marie Tooth syndrome, or excuse me, tooth disease, uh, cryopyrin associated autoinflammatory system. So generally when you see autoinflammatory systems, you see um, problems with your immune system. Okay, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So you probably heard of muscular dystrophy. Uh, fetal, uh, fetal, phenylketonuria, uh, or PKU, is also a disease where we have a hard time digesting certain amino acids found in protein. So diet is really important with someone with PKU. Uh, albinism, where you see less melanin in the skin. So really, there's almost an absence of melanin. melanin. So what gives you guys' skin um, your, your color, your tone, um, and especially in your eyes, too. So it also can affect the eyes. 
Um, cerebral palsy, Durkheim disease, Wolman disease, Turner syndrome. So Turner syndrome, and I believe, what's the other one on here? I thought I had another one on here. Uh, maybe just Turner syndrome is where you guys don't get the right sex chromosome. So um, normally you either get an XX if you're a female or you get an XY if you're a male. Uh, but with Turner syndrome, you don't get both of those from your parents. Okay, Huntington's disease, a chondroplastia. So you're looking at a disorder that affects your bones and your cartilage. And then maple syrup urine disease, which is pretty similar to what it sounds like where basically your urine smells like maple syrup based on the chemicals that are coming out of your kidneys and out of your body. So pick one of those, or if you guys have another one in mind, there's some other cool ones related to Turner syndrome um, that have different numbers of sex chromosomes versus like XO um, or XX and XY, which are your norms. So look into those, those are kind of neat. Okay, here's the information you need to find in your research. What is the name of your disease? That's pretty simple. What disease did you choose? Uh, describe your disorder. Again, I can't express this enough. This needs to be in your own words. So read about it and then tell me about it. Okay, but do not copy and paste or you will not get credit for this assignment. Okay, unless you redo it. Symptoms and treatments. What are some symptoms of the disorder? So how would we, we di diagnose someone with this di uh, disorder? Okay, so maybe if it's something like uh, Down syndrome where you see different facial features or it could be some like blood tests that show you this or it could be the fact that your urine smells like maple syrup okay what are some other symptoms okay so list any symptoms that belong to this disorder again that should be in your own words how is your disorder treated or cured so not all of these if any of these have cures necessarily so if they do have cures or they're working towards cures like for instance cystic fibrosis we have some really great treatment and we're working to some gene therapy to cure it so maybe talk about that. There should be treatments for just about all of these, um, with the exception of things like Tay-Sachs, which are fatal, um, and there might even be some cures. So talk about what they're doing to make a person um, basically cope with these disorders. Okay. What are two interesting facts about your disorder? So numbers in science support facts. So an example might be one in 100 children have this disease. That would be a really good fact because you use numbers to support it. Okay, It's not just made up. Uh, another fact that you guys might see is um, that I would love to hear about that isn't necessarily associated with numbers would be how it's passed down. Is it a dominant trait? Is it a recessive trait? Does one parent pass it down? Um, do both parents pass it down? Basically, how does the kid inherit it? Okay, and then finally, what website or websites did you use for your research? So again, these should all be .orgs. You maybe only used one, that's fine. Go ahead and copy and paste your UL, URL there um, and you can ignore the other two, but maybe you guys use more than three. So copy and paste and let me know which websites you used. Again, I should be able to see that they are all .orgs. There should be no Wikipedia. Finally, uh, add a picture associated with your disorder. So maybe you guys get a picture of the gene in the chromosome, okay? So it could be, all right, it's on this chromosome and here's the spot of the gene, okay? Um, or it could be a picture of someone who has that disorder. Maybe it's a picture showing the effects of this disorder. So maybe like, all right, here's their liver. This is what a person with this disorder's liver looks like, okay? So whatever the picture may be, you're more than welcome to include more than one picture. Um, and be best if you guys got those pictures from one of these websites that you used for your other information. Finally, when you're done, check over it and then be sure to hand it in. Uh, fairly easy little assignment for you guys today. I hope you have fun learning about something else. Um, and I will talk to you soon.